From the beginning, we have put sustainability at the heart of our business model here at the Music City Center. The building is 2.1 million square feet and spans over six blocks. There is 1.2 million square feet of meeting and exhibition space, featuring a 353,143 square foot exhibit hall, a 57,500 square foot grand ballroom, and 90,000 square feet of meeting space. In our first fiscal year, we had over 500,000 people come through the building. Because we are such a large facility with high traffic, we knew that we needed to do everything in our power to reduce our carbon footprint. The facility was designed and constructed with many sustainable features, such as a four acre green roof, a solar panel system, and energy efficient technology. We have continued this commitment to sustainability operationally, and this commitment underlies all of our day-to-day -day operations. We set out with the original target of achieving LEED Silver, but we actually surpassed that goal and received LEED Gold certification by the U.S. Green Building Council in March of 2014. After many years of planning and three years of construction, the Music City Center proudly opened its doors in May of 2013. Designed by Atlanta-based TVS Design, Nashville-based Tuck Hinton Architects, and Moody Nolan Architects, the 2.1 million square foot Music City Center was designed and constructed with sustainability in mind. The Music City Center is certified LEED Gold by the U.S. Green Building Council, which means the building consumes on average 20% less energy and 40% less water than conventionally designed buildings of the same type. During construction, the goal was to make our building as low impact as possible. Our team implemented an extensive recycling program, which resulted in diverting more than 50% of the construction waste from landfills. Much of our building was built using products with recycled content, low volatile organic compounds, and materials that were harvested, extracted, or manufactured within 500 miles of our facility. In order for our facility to consume less energy, the MCC was designed so the south side of the building has roof overhangs and the west side of the building has vertical shading to reduce solar gain. Our building was designed with low emissivity glass to help insulate the building by reflecting the heat inside the building in the winter to reduce heat loss and in summer reflecting heat on the outside of the building to reduce the cooling needed by heat gain. High performance HVAC systems throughout the facility use large velocity fans to reduce both heating and cooling loads. LED lighting and other energy efficiency lighting features such as occupancy sensors, photo sensors, and dimmable ballasts also help reduce energy use. Hello, my name is Steve Johnson with Lightwave Solar. Lightwave did the installation of the photovoltaic panels like this on the roof. This photovoltaic system will generate 275,000 kilowatt hours a year. And the city uh, of Nashville has shown a real leadership role in stepping out on this. Uh, this is the largest system in Davidson County. Because solar doesn't burn any fuel, it's good for the environment. And you don't have, you're not putting particulates in the air like what happens with natural gas and coal and other fuels. In addition, the city has hedged against fuel prices for the next 25 to 35 years for the portion of electricity generated by the solar. The Music City Center has implemented a successful comprehensive water management plan. All toilets, urinals, and faucets in the MCC utilize low flow technology and are equipped with sensor technology to reduce overall water usage. 
Stormwater runoff and condensation from HVAC equipment is collected in a 360,000-gallon rainwater cistern, which provides water to over 500 toilets and urinals and irrigates outdoor landscaping. The MCC also uses water-efficient landscape materials that reduce the amount of water needed for irrigation. One of the Music City Center's most impressive sustainable features is the green roof. One of the reasons Music City uh, decided to do a green roof and the city of Nashville wanted to do this green roof is the impact that it can have for stormwater runoff. When you displace an area of this size and you're putting uh, building structures and concrete and you're putting down asphalt, you, you limit where the water can go. And by installing a green roof here, it actually um, gave you an area that mimics the natural hydrology of the earth. Therefore, we uh, created a, over a four acre space out here that is doing what nature first intended when this building was being built. The earth that was disturbed, we actually were able to put it on top of the roof. What we have actually is a single ply membrane buildup, a PVC product. Initial roofing was done with it. We covered the entire roof with the PVC and then came back with the vegetated buildup assembly. Uh, the assembly is made up of a drainage layer, a retention layer, um, a filter layer, and then an engineered soil, which has an exact porosity and water flow to be able to calculate stormwater runoff, dead loads, and capacity for the roof itself. After that, we actually came in with a pre-vegetated sedum mat that uh, has the capacity of about 14 different varieties or species of plants. Um, those sedums are a succulent type plant which uh, are able to exist in drought-like conditions. They are more for this type of environment, rooftop environment. They can deal with uh, harsh conditions, with the heat, with the uh, low water frequency, um, and they actually fill in really well um, and also pr provide a habitat for some biodiversity. All of these components work together to provide um, more of a stormwater tool, it slows down the water going to the drains and thus the, uh, the water that actually goes to our stormwater uh, here in Nashville Metro. The Music City Center is dedicated to reducing our environmental impact in our everyday operations. Our staff promotes recycling throughout the facility and purchases the most environmentally friendly products and supplies. Our recycling program diverts over 100 tons of mixed recyclables from the landfill each year. We also work with customers to make their meetings as green as possible. Sustainability has become increasingly important in the meeting industry and the Music City Center is now considered one of the best facilities for green meetings. My name is Cindy Sample and I'm the Director of Trade Show Operations for NAM. Uh, NAM is the National Association for Music Merchants. Uh, we produce two trade shows a year. This one here in Nashville called Summer NAM. We have uh, exhibitors come together showing their product to all different types of uh, instruments um, throughout the music products industry, anything from guitars, uh, drums, pianos, you name it, it's here and all the accessories that uh, go along with that. In addition to the obvious reasons why we want to come to Nashville, because it's a fantastic city, Music City Center is beautiful, it's brand new, you know, it has ample space to, uh, to place exhibits and events. Um, we're also very proud of what they've done in the sustainability area and their LEED Gold certification. And we're proud to be a part of that and it's just a perfect fit for us. We are very proud of our accomplishments. Every member of our team plays an important part in a successful sustainability plan and our team did a great job. Our focus now is on continuing these initiatives internally and sharing what we have learned with others in the community. Sustainability is not only very important to our industry and customers, but it's also very important to the city of Nashville. Mayor Dean has said many times that his goal is to make Nashville the greenest city in the southeast 
and we hope to be an integral part in that movement.